Hi, this is another video about MATLAB App Designer. Uh, in this video, first I will show you a few small tips, and then I will show you how to put a background image uh, in your app. So let me I open the App Designer. So let's say you make an application, and let's say it has a few uh, thing in it. Um, so a figure, something, date picker, and so on. And now let me I run this one. So I save it first and run it. So you see that uh, at the top of your app there is a, this name. If you want to change this one, you basically click on the background and then scroll this one down and select identifiers and here you can change that name so for example I put my name the second thing that you want to notice is that uh, by default this app is resizable so your user can can actually change its size and now you see that the app looks um, not very nice so sometimes maybe you want to disable this uh, this feature so if you want to do that again you click on this and uh, from position basically you can uncheck the resize so now if I rerun this app um, we can see that first we have changed this one and also the user cannot resize this app okay so now let us see how to put a background image if you have newer version of MATLAB, like 2019 or more recent one, um, there is an option that is named image. So you can actually put image into your app and then uh, load whatever image that you have. So this makes uh, the life very easy. But in the older version of MATLAB, like this one, which is 2018 and maybe even older than this, uh, there is no option of putting an image in your app. So this method that I'm going to show you is not um, really a beautiful method, but it works. So maybe you want to use it. So I will teach you for the more complicated uh, situation when, when you have uh, some tabs, let's say, and uh, the tab has, for example, multiple uh, options and you want to put a background image somewhere and you want to have it for all the tabs at the same place such that the program looks more uh, beautiful so I'm going to do it for the case with two tabs so what we have to do is that we have to put a button on each of these tabs these buttons we will later use to put our image um, the background image so these these things should be done first and then let's say um, whatever uh, other functionalities that you have, you, you just put them into your app and uh, basically um, program them the way you want. So for example, here maybe I have another two more buttons and some table maybe or some other checkbox or whatever. Okay, so the first button that we put uh, here, this, this is the first one, and in the other tab, this one is the first one. So these two buttons, as I said, we will use them to insert the image. So first I delete the name of this, and I actually enlarge this button. I want to put the boundaries of this button um, actually outside the, the app. So then you click on here, and then to the left, to the right menu, um, you select the interactivity and you remove the check of enable. So now this um, button is uh, disabled. So now what we have to do is that we want to basically, we can load our image and basically put it inside this button. Now in order to make an image that uh, fits properly, um, there is a little bit of trick that you have to do. So let's say in this case, I want to put an image only in this region. So it's my name and some uh, some shapes that I want to, to make. So this is basically the PowerPoint. This is what I want to put in that corner of each tab and the, in the exact same position. So I have two options. If, if you just save this one, you can in PowerPoint, you can right click on the object 
and then save as and then you can you can save it for example here in in this uh, place but then if i just insert this one uh, into this uh, button then because the image is basically filling almost all the space of the button and this is not what I want. Uh, I wanted to only put this image in this corner. Of course I can resize this button and make it small but if I if I now put this one here this is not going to work because um, you see that the edges of these buttons are already there and this is ugly. So I really want to put the edges of these buttons outside the app boundaries. But in this case this image is not what I want. So I have to make the image a little bit differently. So I open my PowerPoint again. Um, so now I put this image maybe somewhere here and I make it a little bit small. And now I insert two small um, shape. Let's say I put a shape here and I put another shape here. Uh, I will select this one I fill it with no fill and then the boundary no boundary so this is completely transparent and same for the other one so now what I do I will select everything and basically I save this one um, as the second picture okay so now the difference as you can see this one is basically the image is almost uh, filling all the space um, when you save the image in in PowerPoint using the method that I showed, the image actually has a transparent background, so this that is very useful. But the other one, you can see that it has a lot of empty space, and then the image is here. This is necessary uh, for this case at least. So now let me I instead of putting that image, I put the other image, the second image that I made. So now you can see the second image is here and I can actually enlarge this if I want so I can put it exactly this position. Now in the newer version of MATLAB because you have already an icon as image you don't need to go through this trouble. You can just save the image as uh, nice and then put it basically in that corner. So you don't need to resize and all those things. But from this point onward uh, both, of, both of them are the same. This method and even in the newer version of MATLAB using image. So what you want to do right now is that you click on here and then you scroll this one down and position, you basically copy the position of this image because you need it for the next tab. So this was tab 2, now I click on the other part and I click on tab 1. So again I remove this button, I enlarge it a bit and I deactivate it. And I put the same image. Let's say I want to have the same image inside this. And now what I do is that I go to the position, delete this position and paste the position of the other one. So now this one appears exactly the same position as the other one. So now if I run this application, we see that, for example, um, this one is at here and if I change the, the tab the the image the background image is exactly at the same position so it doesn't change and it looks uh, very nice okay so I hope this is helpful for someone um, in the next video I will show you how to uh, play a bit with this uh, figure and how to manipulate the figure in app designer bye